Hi, good morning Denise. My name is Oliver Noah. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 23rd of July 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Denise Rome. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 26531210. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. All right. Can I see your ID, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. So let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. How do you stay motivated in your work? A commitment to help others is my obligation. I try to provide comfort and security to children. On most days, I am usually exhausted by the end of my shift, but the reward from my intrinsic view is seeing the joy the clients have after rendering my good services. Their joy and happiness drive me to push and try my best every day. Why are you interested in this role? In my training, I was mostly assigned through rotation to many different departments as a general nurse and was accustomed to it. However, the desire to become a pediatric nurse was what led me to nursing. What interests me in pediatric growth is how we indicate intricate formulas of processing thought, build our immunity, and overcome diseases. At least to a greater extent, we say, childhood determines how healthy we'll be for the rest of our lives. My love for and desire to positively impact the lives of children has been a determining factor in my interest for this role. What are the roles of a pediatric nurse? As a pediatrician, I try my best to provide the best medical care in my professional capacity to children. I can say, the key role of a pediatric nurse is to administer vaccination or immunization and make sure that the children keep up with their vaccination schedule and take their drugs with the aid of their parents. Regular checkups on heavily sick children is also an important part of my role. What major challenges did you face in your role? Working with children, especially adolescents, can be challenging. Adolescents are a group who are learning to be independent, and some of their choices can somehow be erratic. Once, I was presented with a teenager who became too obsessed with conspiracies of malice in the medical sector, and he fought off anyone who tried to administer him any medical care. Handling the child was somewhat challenging, though I tried my best to stay calm while treating him. Describe your daily routine as a pediatric nurse. My day starts with some stretching exercises and a jog around my block to prepare myself physically for the tough day ahead. Afterwards, a good shower, a hot cup of coffee, prepares me mentally as I check my schedule on the appointments of the day while updating myself with a quick check on the tabloids. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. My name is Denise Rome. One of the nurses working in the community health center. How may I help you today? Good morning. I have been feeling unwell for a few days. Please, I need some medical attention. Sure, don't panic. We are here to help you. Before proceeding further, may I know your name for the documentation, please? My name is Olivia Noah. Thank you, Olivia. Well, for my better understanding, could you please tell me in detail about your symptoms? My symptoms include mild fever, tiredness, nausea, and recent vomiting. Sorry to hear that, Olivia. To confirm, have you noticed any more symptoms, other than these? Oh, yes, nurse. In addition, I have noticed that, my eyes have a yellowish tinge, and also, my urine is dark. All right. Olivia, can you recognize any reason for your current situation? Well, nurse, I have recently returned from a holiday in some Asian countries, and I wonder if this could be the cause of my condition. Thank you for your information, Olivia. From your information, your conditions are suspicious of hepatitis A. However, to confirm the diagnosis, you will need to perform blood tests, including liver function tests. Oh, really? Yes, Olivia, and for confirmation, haven't you taken any precautions during your trip? Nurse, I am a frequent traveler, and I am always careful. Although, while I was on holiday, I stayed in first-class hotels and took precautions such as drinking bottled water only and avoiding local food. I acknowledge your words. Olivia, now you should contact your GP immediately and get the appropriate treatment for your condition. Actually, nurse, I am visiting the local community health clinic today because my GP is on holiday and the locum, who is replacing him, is fully booked for the next few days. I understand your situation, Olivia. The local community health clinic has its limitations to providing necessary treatment for your condition. Nurse, what else can be done? Please help. I feel so sorry for you. For a better treatment, I recommend you to contact your regular GP's receptionist, then explain the situation in detail. Thus the GP's receptionist can make a request that you be fitted in to see the locum as soon as possible. Okay nurse, I will contact the GP's receptionist. That's perfect. Do I need to address any more concerns of yours? Well nurse, I am a person who takes care of things very carefully, and still, this happens to me. I can't believe this. Your situation is quite sensible for me Olivia. For your better understanding, I will explain it to you. Since I am a frequent traveler, that will be very helpful for me, nurse. Yes, Olivia. Hepatitis A is a virus. Therefore, it can spread through contaminated food and water, eating utensils, and poor hygiene practices. Oh, I see. Moreover, it is more common in developing countries than in Australia. So, do not be over-anxious that the situation has happened to you. It is not because of your carelessness. Okay. I get your words, nurse. Do you have any other concerns? I would like to know about the treatment options available for hepatitis A. People with hepatitis A are considered infectious for a week after the onset of jaundice. Proper rest, management of nausea, along with medication compliance, are the effective way of treatment. Hence, care should be taken to prevent getting the complications of the disease. Okay. Beyond that, treatment should begin at the earliest, in order to be on the safer side and for a faster recovery. Okay, nurse. I will take care of it. And how long will it take for a complete recovery? Your concerns are quite natural. The usual duration of the illness is about one month to fully recover. However, the complications will not last long, so try not to panic. Okay, nurse. I hope I have cleared all your concerns. Please feel free for further queries. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and encourage us.
subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.